Welcome back to Close Up. In this pandemic, local leaders are taking on added responsibility and importance as communities grapple with both COVID-19 and its economic fallout. Today, we continue our check-ins with mayors around the state, checking in with Mayor Dana Hilliard of Summersworth. Mr. Mayor, thanks for joining us. Good morning, Adam. Thank you. Always a pleasure to see you. So first, give us a sense of how outdoor dining and business reopenings have been going in your city. You know, we, we have been staying with the pace like uh, most communities. Uh, we are trying to accommodate every business that we can within the Hilltop City. Um, Summersworth doesn't have a lot of restaurants, so there, there's not a lot for us to grapple. Uh, we look forward to that day when we do have a lot of restaurants, but we are still a community on the move, and our economy uh, prior to COVID-19 was really finally just starting to get its foot and, and continuing to move forward. Uh, the, the restaurants that we have had that have applied uh, for the local permits. We have worked with them in any way we feasibly can. We are we are very flexible. Uh, we want to be there for local businesses. It's important that we support them and, and try to accommodate them in, in any reasonable fashion that we can, while at the same time ensuring that all Hilltoppers and anyone else coming into the Hilltop City will have a safe dining experience. Hey, give us a sense of the, the wider business impact there in Summersworth. I know you guys had the folks that moved into the GE uh, plant uh, had uh, closed down, unfortunately, back in February. We're going to wind down operations. But what has the pandemic done to sort of day-to-day -day enterprise in Summersworth? I, I don't think Summersworth is immune like uh, any other community has been, it is that, you know, our, our businesses, uh, especially the downtown businesses, the, the Main Street businesses, the sole proprietorships, mom-and-pop stores, which which is really the fabric of the identity of, of, of Summersworth. We're a 10 square mile community with the smallest city in New Hampshire. Our greatest asset is our citizens and our in, and really our motto of neighbor helping neighbor. Um, it, we're, we're there to support, uh, but our businesses are, are struggling like uh, like most of the other communities within the state of New Hampshire. You know, the, the large multinational box stores uh, have been open. Um, they are busier really, really than ever in, in figuring out uh, how to continue to, to maintain their business practices while at the same time keeping everyone else safe. But but it was the small little boutique stores, the ones that uh, we were really excited about uh, re reinventing and reinvigorating our main street that are, that are taking that hit and that we need to be there and continue to support in any fashion that we can as they are adjusting like all of us are to to what the new social norms will be and to really what our new commerce might end up looking like. What's been your approach there to enforcing social distancing and some of the restrictions that have gone into place? Obviously, Governor Sununu has tried to have kind of a light touch on this, but on the local level, what does enforcement look like? You know, uh, we, the, Hill, the Hilltopper Way is a big fan of, of common sense and common practices. Um, you know, all, all the municipalities are, are doing our best to support the the really New Hampshire fabric of life, not only the Hilltopper fabric, but the New Hampshire fabric of, uh, of life, which is which is really self-policing and, and self-control. And it, it's important that that all of us at this time really show what the true character of our individuality is. And and that is compliance and, and being able to support each other uh, through following what the guidelines are. It, it is it is imperative, particularly as we start getting into the warmer weather. I mean, all of us are excited about summer, trust me, and no one probably is more excited about warmer weather in this state than, than I am. Uh, but, but at the same time, this pandemic simply isn't just going away because we're bored with it. <laughs> and really, be, because we've grown tired with it and our patients have been tested and, and we're ready to get back to, to what we had um, as our quote unquote normal way of life prior to this. Uh, but, but now is not the time when we abandon those practices because if, if we start lightening up, then we know that second wave will come on and it will be more damaging than the first. Uh, it, some is worth, uh, and the citizens of the Hilltop City have done a great job at following forward on those guidelines and of supporting each other and in some cases, reminding each other. I don't like calling it uh, self-necessarily policing, but but friendly friendly reminders. And uh, you know that our community and leadership within our community is doing this on, on a weekly basis. Uh, the the I I the mayor's office, along with our city officials, have uh, a weekly broadcast that we send out, just updating all of our citizens. Um, we've had a we've had email blasts going out reminding all of our citizens how important the guidelines are we have a citywide mailing coming out which is just kind of like a, a spirit booster and, and some friendly reminders that again we are all in this together and that all of us need to continue to support each other while at the same time adhering to the guidelines um, that are out there that will keep us safe and will move us towards uh reopening in, in a safe fashion 
So you're right there on the border with Berwick. Uh, are there any sort of unique issues that have popped up uh, with a state line that the virus can't really see? You know, <laughs> being on the state line, uh, whether you're on the Vermont side or the Massachusetts side or the Maine side, if you're one of those border communities, um, you, you can certainly relate with some as worth that there are always unique circumstances. Um, so the, the COVID-19 the COVID pandemic is really no different than any of the other uh, issues that you will tackle with sharing a state border with your neighbor being on the other side with a completely different legislature, a different, uh, a different governor, and a whole set of not only different laws, but sometimes different way of looking at things. So um, the, the great thing is, is that Summersworth and Berwick have, have always shared a history together, um, have always shared a, a very close relationship with each other, and we continue to work with each other to ensure that on both sides of the river that our citizens will remain safe. You do have a fairly sizable immigrant population there in Summersworth. What's been the outreach to try and drive information and other things to those people, maybe assistance as well? Yes, yeah, Summersworth has the largest uh, population of Indonesian Indonesian citizens north of Manhattan, and we're and we're very proud of that. And you know, our our past, our city motto is "Proud Past, Bright Future." You know, the, Summersworth was founded on immigrants and, and the hope of that American dream. Uh, my my ancestors on my mother's side immigrated from Quebec and and worked in the mills, uh, which have brand new life within Summersworth right now. Uh, the Indonesian community connect has a great partnership uh, with the city of Summersworth and uh, we are continuing to work with them and they have done a really good job at taking the information that the city uh, continues to send out um, and, and making sure that the Indonesian community is able to access, access that information in their native tongue and, and making sure that that community is getting the information and, and being able to walk this journey with us united together. Do you feel like you're getting enough help from the state when it comes to things like personal protective equipment and the other help and assistance that you need on the local level? You know, the state has been there for the Hilltop City, and I, and I have really no, no criticism of, of the state government. Um, you, they, have, they have been working um, in a great partnership with the local towns and communities. Uh, the, the governor has had all 13 mayors on weekly for briefings and for, for us to have an opportunity um, to air our concerns and to work together. Uh, I, I'm, I'm an optimist and I'm always trying to find, you know, what the good lessons in, in this terrible situation that we're all experiencing will be. Um, one of those is, is I hope that we have all really taken a, a hard look at what is important in life. And of course, that is those personal relationships that we hold with our, with our family members, with our loved ones, with our friends. And, and I hope we get back to some of those values that we've, we've kind of lost. The next thing is, is how important connections are and partnerships are. And I think we've paved a new way with, with ways that the cities can all jointly work together, all 13 cities within New Hampshire, how the cities can communicate with the executive office, uh, regardless of who is occupying that or who the governor is, and, and how we can uh, keep that communication flowing um, because we've learned the lessons uh, of when we're able to talk, uh, we are able to understand each other, we're able to work out those differences, and we are able to govern more effectively for all the citizens, not only within this uh, state, but within this great nation. All right, Mr. Mayor, thanks so much for joining us on Close Up, and we wish you good luck in your pandemic response there in Summersworth. Thank you, Adam. Have a great day, and it's always great to see you. Likewise.